Today, we're going to review the Arthrex ACP Max device. The ACP Max device will provide a high concentration of platelets with a low concentration of neutrophils. The ACP Max device contains an inner and an outer tray. The outer tray has all the components necessary for your peripheral blood draw. You have two syringes to draw up to 90 cc's of peripheral blood, a tourniquet, caps to sterilize cap your product, ACDA to load on the syringes for the peripheral blood draw, and then what you need to bandage after the draw, including a gauze pad and a band-aid. Your ACP Max inner tray contains the ACP Max device, the double barrel ACP syringes, two Lurlock caps, and two 30cc syringes. So once you have your peripheral blood drawn, one thing to remember is before you draw the peripheral blood from your inner tray, you're going to want to put four cc's of ACDA for every 30 cc's of peripheral blood you plan to draw. So if you're using a 30 cc syringe, you draw up four cc's of ACDA. If you're using a larger syringe, such as a 60 cc syringe, you're going to want to draw eight cc's of ACDA prior to your peripheral blood draw. So when you're ready to process your peripheral blood, you're going to remove your ACP Max device. If you're processing a total of 60 cc's of blood, you don't need the cage guide. It can be removed. If you're processing 30 cc's of peripheral blood, you will use the cage guide. You want to start by removing the air from the ACP Max device. Then you're going to place the lure cap onto the bottom of the ACP Max device. Now you're ready to introduce your blood into your ACP Max device. In this case, for 60 cc's, you're going to unscrew your cage guide. The end of your syringe is going to fit on this needleless lure valve that's inside the ACP Max device. You remove your sterile cap from your peripheral blood. You place the peripheral blood firmly upon the lure valve and secure it in a firm clockwise fashion, ensuring that you have a good connection between your syringe and your ACP Max device. Then you're going to slowly insert your peripheral blood into the ACP Max device. You don't want to do this too quickly. You don't want to create bubbles because it can lice your platelets if you do this too quickly. Once full, you'll see we're at the 60 cc mark on the ACP Max device. We then remove our syringe and we're ready for our first spin in the centrifuge. The ACP Max device can process 30, 60, or 90 milliliters of peripheral blood. It will require you to change the time setting, but not the RPM setting on the centrifuge. The RPM setting for the first spin will always remain at 3,200 RPM. The time will change. If you're processing 30 cc's, you'll do a three-minute spin, 60 a six-minute spin, 90 a nine-minute spin. For this demonstration, we are again using 60 cc's of peripheral blood. We're going to open our centrifuge, unlock the centrifuge. Then you have to unlock the top of the centrifuge. There are two buckets contralateral to each other in the centrifuge. In one, you will place your ACP Max product for the first spin. In the other, you will place an equivalent volume on the other side of the centrifuge to counterbalance your ACP Max product. You then close the lid, lock the lid, and then you can start your first spin. So after your first spin, you'll see in your ACP Max device a clear delineation between your platelet pore plasma, buffy coat, and your RBC layer. We're going to replace the cage guide onto the ACP Max device. Then we're going to take one of the 30 cc syringes supplied in your kit and firmly seat it upon the needleless valve. And then we're ready to pull off our platelet pore plasma. Now we're going to pull off a platelet pore plasma until we're at two ticks above the level of our buffy coat. We then remove our platelet pore plasma and we place our double barrel ACP syringe onto the needleless lure valve and we withdraw 15 cc's of product. We then remove the Buffy Coat product, 
and we place the lure cap onto the product. And now we're ready for our second spin. After our second spin, in our ACP double barrel syringe, you're going to see your PRP product separate nicely from your red blood cell layer. And at this time, you're ready to withdraw your final product. You're going to hold the base firmly and you're going to pull off your PRP product without pulling up any of the RBC layer. So you're going to stop right above that RBC layer. You're then going to hold the barrel, unscrew your syringe, and then you have your final PRP product for use. The ACP Max device allows you to process 30, 60, or 90 cc's of peripheral blood for a final ACP Max product that ensures a high platelet and low neutrophil final product for use. This can all be done in a very efficient workflow manner.